Welcome back to Cooking with Lesbians, a cooking show for lesbians with a lesbian. I'm your host, Barb, or whatever other gay name you can think of. For those two gay men that are watching, yes, I'm wearing the same sweater, and fuck you for your snarky comment. For today's episode, we're gonna be doing a lost girl pizza party. So you're gonna have all of your lesbian friends over to watch a terrible episode of Lost Girl, and let's be real, these are the only lesbians you know, you probably wanna fuck one of them. So what better way than to serve them a terrible pizza? So this recipe is a little bit more difficult than our last recipe. On the lesbian scale, this is probably closer to scissoring than to fingering, so hopefully you can get it. Here's what you'll need for this recipe. Dirty fucking mushrooms, some kind of herb, another kind of herb called mar marjorie fucka fam, smelly ass garlic, but my mom still thinks I am olive oil, pizza dough. Don't try to make your own pizza dough, it's fucking hard. Just date an Italian girl and have her grandma do it for you. Cornmeal. Can't believe I actually own this, what is this? Tomato puree. That's French for fancy ass tomatoes. Any fucking color pepper you want. Don't be racist, ho. Grated cheese. If you want to work on your forearm muscles, which I suggest you do, you can grate that fucking cheese yourself. Fuck you, docubus. Smash the shit out of that. So we're not fucking around today. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our own pizza sauce. What? Yeah, score one for the lesbians. So get a saucepan with the bottom and put it on the top of your stove. Turn that baby up to who the fuck cares and let's get over and pour some ingredients in there. Once you've burned the shit out of your pan because you forgot it was on the stove top, start adding your ingredients. One clove of garlic, your fancy ass tomato sauce, Oops, I dropped the lid in. Just pick it out with your hands. No one needs to know about this. It's kind of burning my hands a little, but it's okay. Okay, pour that stuff in because you're poor as shit. You can't afford to get a new one. Throw in some spices. That was way too fucking much. Practice your fingering techniques by making small circles and gradually getting larger. Cover that shit up. While the pasta sauce is cooking, it's time to start making this pizza. So get some of that Nona girlfriend's dough. You want to start rolling it out. I'm a lesbian, so I don't have a rolling pin, because why the fuck would I have a rolling pin? But I do have a beer glass. Use your lesbian beer glass and start rolling out that dough as thinly as you can. Be careful not to break your glass so you don't get any shards of glass in your pizza. You could probably get arrested for that shit. Sometimes the dough gets stuck to the glass. Rip it off. One of the most important steps is to make sure you get your cornmeal and you put that on the bottom of that fucking pizza stone. Yes, I have a pizza stone. No, I don't have a rolling pin. Who the fuck are you to judge me? What does this call for? Yeah, boom, scissors. Scissor this shit up. After 30 to 45 minutes of excessive swearing, accept the fact that your pizza will never be a perfect circle. So let's start working on this fucked up amoeba pizza right away. Okay, this is stuck. Sometimes the pan gets stuck to the top. Use your muscles and rip it off. Still trying to get it off. Is this some kind of practical joke? Who fucking did this? Sometimes it congeals. Start again. Add your second attempt at sauce and spread nice and evenly. Remember that fingering technique I taught you? Small to big. Sprinkle that cheese on there. The more cheese, the better. Add your fucking toppings. Put your ugly ass pizza into the oven at a temperature of who the fuck cares because you're gonna burn the shit out of it anyway. While the pizza's in the oven, make yourself a drink because that was the most fucking stressful meal I've ever made in my fucking life and I'm never fucking making pizza again. Cheers to pizza. Fuck you, lost girl. Have another. So we've taken our ugly ass pizza out of the oven. For your friends, you want to make about 15 pizzas because lesbians like to eat a lot. Pun intended. Well, this was another unsuccessful cooking with lesbians. Perfect for our lost girl theme. Thanks for watching and bon appetit.